Hi, welcome to the Surfly admin tutorial. I'm Josefina and I'll guide you through our admin panel to show you how you can customize the Surfly co-browsing experience within a few easy steps. So welcome to the admin panel. Let's start by logging in. Once you're logged in, you reach the start page. From this page you can start an outbound co-browsing session by typing in a URL in this text field. Click Start Session to navigate to google.com. We are now in a co-browsing session. If you want to invite others to this session, you can share the link. You can use Surfly together with another chat solution. If you choose to make use of the Surfly chat widget, you can type in messages here. Enable video chat, share files and browse them together, and you can navigate to a new URL. Now let's search for something. The person who initiates the session is the leader, and the leader is by default in control. The leader can scroll through the page, click buttons, fill in text fields, and navigate. The follower has a magic marker and can highlight things on the page. You can also add functionality that allows your users to switch control. As you can see, my cursor changed into a red magic marker. If you choose to integrate Surfly co-browsing into your website, a common use case would be to integrate a Start Session button, as you can see on this page. Your incoming calls will be listed on the queue page. Every co-browsing session has its own PIN number to make sure that your agents are able to identify the correct call from the queue. You can also choose to add metadata to the queue. For instance, when your users are logged into your website, you can add name and email address to the queue. This would require a further integration. We also have a special menu to manage your agents from. You can add an agent by adding their email address and full name. There are three different types of roles you can assign to your agents. An agent can take calls from the queue. A manager can add or remove agents. An admin has full access to the admin panel, meaning that they can adjust the user interface of your co-browsing experience. For the last part of this admin panel tour, I'll guide you through the settings page. On the integration tab of the settings page, you'll find your widget key and your REST API key. Below you'll also find the code snippet. If you want to integrate Surfly into your website, you need to place this within your HTML. From the Options tab, you can fully customize the user interface of your Surfly co-browsing session. For instance, you can specify if you want the users of your co-browsing session to be able to switch control. And there are even more options you can add. You can enable or disable video chat. You can allow your users to add more users to the co-browsing session. And you can even store the chat logs. These logs will be saved on the Your History tab. On the General Session Settings tab, you can add some security measures to your Surfly integration. You can add domains to the blacklist, meaning that your users will not be able to navigate to these specific websites. And you can add domains to the whitelist, meaning that your users will only be able to navigate to these websites. Furthermore, on the domain list you have to specify on which websites you want to integrate Surfly. You can also adjust the appearance of the Surfly session. You can customize the look of the chat box. You can customize the look of the magic marker. And you can adjust the screen size. By default it is set to the smallest, meaning that if one of your users is using a smaller screen, like a mobile phone or a tablet, all the windows of the users will be synchronized to this screen size. Last but not least, 
If you choose to make use of our basic Get Help button, you can adjust its looks on this button appearance page. I'm sure that by now you can't wait to start co-browsing. By registering, you'll sign up for a 14-day free trial, giving you full access to the Surfly API. You can navigate to this URL or click on the link you'll find in the description. If you would like to know more about the Surfly API, please visit our website and our documentation. You'll find the links below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.